today's video, we are at Nomad Lounge at Disney's Animal Kingdom Park. This is an extremely popular lounge attached to the signature dining restaurant Tiffin's and can be hard to get on the wait list for, so we're going to talk about if it's worth the hype or not to help you plan your day at Animal Kingdom. We'll give you an overview of the lounge, how to get on the wait list for the lounge, and what we had to eat and drink and what we thought. Nomad Lounge has outdoor patio seating as well as indoor seating, and on a hot park day in Disney's Animal Kingdom, it's a great spot to enjoy some much needed air conditioning and time off of your feet. Nomad Lounge offers handcrafted cocktails, small bite options, and beer and wine from Africa, Asia, and South America. The lounge itself is very much travel and adventure themed to accompany the overall themes of Animal Kingdom. The banners that hang in the middle of the lounge ask questions about travel that you can answer by asking a cast member for a tag, and they will hang the answers from all of the guests on display. Nomad Lounge and Tiffin's are located on Discovery Island right before you cross the bridge to go to Pandora, the world of Avatar. Despite being a lounge, this location is family friendly and there are things for kids too. Nomad Lounge is available on a first come first serve basis. They open at 11 a.m. each day and you'll need to join a walk up list on the My Disney Experience app or speak to a cast member outside of the lounge to add your name and number to the wait list. And then they will text you when your table is ready. Nomad Lounge waitlist can fill up extremely fast. We got our names on the waitlist right at 11 a.m., but last year during our trip, we tried to add our names to the list around noon and we weren't able to, so it can fill up depending on how busy of a park day it is. Okay, so now let's get into the food and drink options since that's probably why you're watching this video. We'll show you what we ordered and as always, we'll rate the food on a scale of one to 10. Starting with our drinks, I ordered the Jen's Tattoo Cocktail, Greg ordered his favorite Disney beer, the Kungaloosh beer, and Tamara ordered their Sangria. How is it? It's very good. And this is Jen's Tattoo, which is a 10 out of 10 drink. Mm. What would you rate it? <laughs> I would rate it six or a seven. It tastes like an alcohol cigar. It's not more than a wine. It's strong. Yeah. What would you rate your beer? Okay. Ten. Ten out of ten still, okay. You can only find this here and occasionally Jock Lindsay's. Gregory, no! <laughs> Is that like a little jelly? It's a hibiscus. I politely asked him to please not eat that. Oh. I just kidding. You put that all in your mouth. Yeah. Does that make you happy? Very good. It's like fruit roller. That's what they said. For small bites, we ordered the Tiffin's bread service to start a signature from the specialty restaurant next door to Nomad. This bread service comes with coconut curry sauce, guava sauce, and ginger pear chutney to try with the various bread types. Is this the one you tried? Yeah. Oh, they're so soft. It looks like a biscuit. It's so oh, but it's a pull apart. Oh, it's like wow. a really, really. Ooh. It's like a cloud in my mouth. <laughs> oh wow, I really like that texture. It's so gooey. Yeah. Mm. I like the gooey one. <laughs> I do too, just the way it pulls apart. The overall? Mm -hmm. The overall is probably like a seven. Like the whole thing's a seven out of ten. Mm -hmm. What about those starter buns? Those are, I think nines. I mm -hmm. think I said nine. Yeah. They're like little clouds, but everything else I'd agree with. It's super fun to try. Yeah. We you got ordered your chicken and chicken. sliders. Yeah. And you got the, is it a meat chicken bowl? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. so the same thing. Are those like, they're really good. Those cool fries. Ooh. Mm -hmm. These fries are delicious. Mm -hmm. Gregory, you're welcome to dig in. Okay. <laughs> you gonna try a slider? Yeah. What do you think? They're good, but they're cold. The four fries that you get are a 10 out of 10. <laughs> 
Cinnamon sliders had a great crunch to them and really good flavor, but they were on the colder side, so they only got a 6 out of 10. The Chicken Manchurian Nomad Bowl was really good. The chicken was delicious, and it would be around a 7 out of 10. This is so lovely. It is nice. It's, like it's refreshing. Easy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Comfortable seating. Mm -hmm. Low seating. Overall, is Nomad Lounge worth the hype? I would say yes, but that it's not my favorite of all of the Walt Disney World lounges despite its popularity. But it has subtle and adventurous theming by the Disney Imagineers and it's the perfect spot to relax and recharge during your busy Animal Kingdom Park day. I love their drinks and the bread service was so fun to try. We do recommend checking out Nomad Lounge during your Animal Kingdom Park day, but we would also recommend lots of other lounges throughout the Walt Disney World property too, such as Tambu Lounge over at Disney's Polynesian Resort, Baseline Tap House, or Hollywood Brown Derby Lounge if you're having a park day at Disney's Hollywood Studios, Dahlia Lounge or Three Bridges Bar and Grill at Disney's Coronado Springs Resort, or Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar over at Disney Springs. Check out our Walt Disney World dining playlist for more dining reviews on property or check out our channel for more of our adventures. If you enjoyed this video, we would greatly appreciate if you could hit the like button and subscribe to follow along on our next adventure. Thanks for watching!